We asked you answered online telling us about dozens of places around Chicago where your phone calls suddenly drop out and it's not just costing you connections. CBS 2 investigator Dorothy Tucker uncovers how the city's spotty service could cost you a parking ticket even if there's time left on your meter. I put in the app uh, that I was going to be here for an hour and a half. Alan Fierstein is among the many drivers who rely on the Park Chicago app. It's supposed to make paying for parking more convenient. Just a few taps of your finger and the meter starts running. But Fierstein has had problems with it. It's very frustrating. Recently, in a night out to dinner, he parked and paid. I forgot something, and 20 minutes later, I came back to find I had a ticket. But he got lucky. He found the enforcement officer. I kind of, kind of challenged her, "What's going on?" She pulled up the license. She pulled up her screen. He took a picture of her device that showed no results found for his license plate, so it looked like he didn't pay. Note the time in the corner, 8.53 p.m. Well, then I pulled up my app, and I said, look, there's a countdown. His meter started at 8.28 p.m. She gives me a ticket at 8.53, 25 minutes later. So when I challenged her, I said, well, I, and she made the comment that they are aware that it doesn't always get updated, maybe for five minutes. In your case, this was 25 minutes later. So that, there's something wrong with the system. If the system doesn't work, guess who gets the ticket? We do. As much as $65 a pop. Much of that money goes to Chicago Parking Meters, or CPM, a private group of investors that leased the parking meter system from the city several years ago. Last year, the investors pocketed $49 million of the $132 million the company took in. Uh, Park Chicago. We tried to talk to CPM managers, but you can't get past security in the no. office high rise. Okay, so it is a private building. I also sent a copy of Fierstein's screenshot and info from his receipt to the company. The response, this statement. In rare instances, sometimes wireless connectivity between a parking enforcement official's tablet and the main database runs slow. Here's what that means in English. Their device may be offline in an area with a poor cell reception. IIT professor and IT expert Jeremy Hajak. And therefore, their device says, I don't have a record of this ticket. That despite the fact that the driver has paid. Correct. Here's my fellow CBS2 investigator, Pam Zekman. Lucas had the receipt from Park Chicago showing she had paid four minutes before the ticket was issued. She reported on problems similar to Fierstein's a full three years ago. At that time, 3,279 tickets had been dismissed because they were incorrectly issued. Since then, there have been more, an additional 4,279 for a total of nearly 7,500 dismissed tickets since the app launched in 2014. <whistles> Park Chicago app users have been tweeting about problems like this one in June. Ticketing cars with 30 minutes left on their meter, fourth ticket in last year. From July, got another $65 parking citation, even though I still had time left on the meter. And as recently as August, I used your app and still got a ticket. City officials defend the company, arguing sometimes drivers make mistakes, like entering the wrong license plate number, and that dismissed tickets relating to the app represent less than 1% of all dismissed tickets. That doesn't sound bad unless you're among the 1%, or almost were. This is serious. Hey, Jack offers one solution to the problem. He thinks CPM needs to have a conversation with all wireless providers. To make sure all the zones where traffic enforcement is being done have adequate wireless connectivity. You do something right, and, as, 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 and, uh, and then you, get, you still get penalized. So if you suspect you've paid, fight the ticket. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Fierstein was fortunate because the enforcement officer was able to wipe out his ticket, but thousands of others, as Dorothy showed you, have to contest their tickets later, and we found nearly $3,400 is still owed to dozens of drivers who paid up before their tickets got dismissed.